That there is uh, Denise Turner Roth. She's the administrator of the GSA, and they are the committee that uh, is in charge of what all public buildings are named. This woman is responsible for a courthouse in Beckley, West Virginia, being named after a prominent Klan member. That's right, Senator Robert C. Byrd, a Democrat who, when he died, was the longest serving senator in American history, has his roots and pretty much his whole life steeped in racism. It's very clear that this man hated black people. And this woman of color is allowing this building to be named after him. I don't understand it. How can a, could a, a, an African-American man expect justice at the David Duke courthouse? Justice is meant to be blind, especially colorblind. But we have this horrible, horrible historical figure, Robert Byrd, uh, in charge, his legacy, part of his legacy is this courthouse. What the hell is going on? That is why we are starting a petition to take Bird down. Here's the website, take Bird down. Go there right now. Ideally, it opens a new page so you don't have to stop watching this video and sign up for the petition now. I want to get tens of thousands of signatures on this petition. I don't understand why he's not included in this cleaning up our racist past. Is it because uh, he's a Democrat? That doesn't make any sense. The bones they're digging, digging up in Memphis are Democrat bones. The high school that Julianne Moore wants to take down is named after a Democrat. Virtually all these Confederate, all of these Confederate soldiers are Democrats. So we're allowed to do that, but when it gets a little too modern, a little too close, we say, well, we're just going to ignore that. This black woman has a Klan courthouse on her name. And just to be clear how bad this guy was, back in 1946, all right, around the time he was, shortly after he was rocking it with the Klan, he said to fellow segregationist Theodore Bilbo, I shall never fight in the armed forces with a Negro by my side. Rather, I should die a thousand times and see old glory trampled in the dirt, never to rise again, than to see this beloved land of ours become degraded by race mongrels. A throwback to the blackest specimen from the wilds. It's pretty eloquent. You got to hand it to him. And this wasn't just a little blip in time where he had a he had a a, a, <laughs> a wake up call and was reborn as an egalitarian. Soon after that, in the '60s, he was uh, he personally filibustered against the Civil Rights Act of 1964 with a 14-hour speech and was the only person to vote against affirming both black U.S. Supreme Court justices. When asked to atone for his racist past, Byrd said, There are white niggers. I've seen a lot of white niggers in my time. That was in 2001. Denise Turner Ross, what were you thinking? You're an African American. You need to take Byrd down. We need to change the name. We need to work together and sign this petition, okay? We need to get tens of thousands of signatures. The de we've had enough of the Democrats' history and racism. We aren't proud of it, and we certainly don't condone their very modern races having courthouses named after them. It's un unconscionable. So, to be clear, I want you right now to go to this site and sign the petition that is imploring Denise Turner Roth the administrator of America's GSA, to change the name of the Robert C. Byrd Courthouse in Beckley, West Virginia. It's named after our most racist politician ever, a Democrat named Robert C. Byrd.